First of all, I'm preparing three cups for the foliage. You want the top one to have more paint because it'll be the largest one, and the other two should be of unequal sizes. I'm using a range of greens and putting more of the light colors in the top cup, keeping in mind the direction of the light as I go. The bottom cup will be the lower portion of the tree, and so naturally it will be the darkest. Make sure you don't put too much paint in the cups because you don't want them to overwhelm the painting. Then set the cups aside. First of all, we need to put in the background. So start pouring light colors, white, yellow, and your sky blues in approximately the way that I'm doing here. When you get to the ground, use the same range of greens that you used for the tree. Don't forget to add in some drops of earth color and orange or red for warmth. I like to use sheets of toilet paper for swiping the background. Just work your way around it. And for the area under the tree, you might want to use half sheets of toilet paper for some of the regions. Then place your cups in approximately the right places where you visualize your foliage to be. And stretch the painting out a bit. Just use your judgment as to how much to do this. Don't be disappointed if it doesn't look like it's going to be a tree, because we're going to go on painting and turn it into one. For this part of the painting, I use narrow strips of paper pointed at one end. You just dip the pointed end into your paint and then swipe. What's important here is the stroke. Think about the curves of the tree trunk and the branches as you paint. In general, what I'm doing here is trying to break up the areas where there's not enough detail while making the twigs and branches look realistic. Don't forget to add a little bit of shadow underneath the trunk and put movement in your painting as you can see me trying to do here. Of course, what you end up doing here will depend a lot on how your cups came out, which will be quite different from mine probably, but hopefully you will have some dark areas at the bottom of the tree and lighter areas at the top and one side. So you just go ahead and paint and enjoy it. There are some things that you can do that I'm not doing on my painting. For example, you can drop more paint into the tree if you want to and then swipe it into your picture. And you can drop more green paint around the edges of the foliage to make it look like clusters of leaves. And there it is. A very wild looking, very stylized, but quite animated tree. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.